Hey guys and welcome back. In today's video I'm going to be showing you how to set up your Amazon Echo Dot. But first things first, I'm going to be going over all the different buttons and things that are on the device itself. And also right out of the box you should be getting your Amazon Echo device, a wall adapter for the power, and then this is going to be the cord with the USB that you plug in to the power adapter itself. And then the other side is going to be plugging into your Echo Dot. But just to go over the buttons here, we have the microphone. So if you click this on and off, it'll make it so you turn your microphone on and off. And if you turn your microphone off, then that means that your Echo Dot won't be listening for you to call out its name. You have a minus and plus, and this is going to be your volume control. You can also control volume through voice commands. Um, and then also we have an action button here and what this button does is say you set an alarm clock or a timer um, You can turn it off by clicking this button. You can also turn it off with a voice command um, But this is also a button if you hold it down for five seconds, you can set up a wireless Connection, but you're not going to need to do that um, on the initial setup because that is going to be automated initially and then you're going to go into your Alexa app which I'll show you how to do after I finish going over the things that are on this device. We also have the uh, area where you plug in the cord for the power and then this little circle right here is going to be your auxiliary output and that's going to allow you to plug into your headphones or speakers and this is also going to have the ability to plug into a Bluetooth speaker and they recommend that if you're plugging it into a Bluetooth speaker that you keep the device at least three feet away from uh, the Bluetooth speaker itself for optimal pairing. All right, so now I'm gonna plug this thing in and it's gonna start, um, it should turn blue and then kind of have a blue ring that goes around in a circle. And I've already set up my device, so it's already connected to the internet, but it's going to turn orange. And when it's um, orange, that means that you need to connect to the internet. So I'm gonna plug this thing in. And then we see it turns blue, and then it should start spinning around. And this is just it getting ready and prepared. And initially when you do that, it should take about a minute, maybe not even quite that long before it turns orange and goes into setup mode to connect to your internet. But once you plug it in, you're gonna wanna go to your phone. And once you're on your phone, you're gonna wanna install the Amazon um, Alexa Hello. app. Hello. <laughs> You're going to want to install the Amazon Alexa app, which I already have on here, but if you have an Android phone, you're going to go to Google Play. If you have an iPhone, I think it's the App Store. Um, I've never had an iPhone personally. And then you're just going to look up Amazon Alexa in the search. And then once you get into the Amazon Alexa app, you're going to want to install it. I've already installed it on my device, so I'm already good to go. Once you install the um, Amazon Alexa app, it should just pop up right on uh, one of your screens and uh, you should be able to find it that way. If you can't find it, you can also click your apps button. So I'm going to open up Amazon Alexa and the first time you log in, it's going to prompt you to log into your Amazon account if you don't have an Amazon account. Um, I don't know how you ordered your Echo Dot to begin with, but maybe, oh, see, I said its name, hmm. so now it's listening. I can't find the answer to the question I heard. All right. So maybe I should turn the microphone off for now. <laughs> All right, so like I was saying, maybe you ordered your Echo Dot on somebody else's Amazon account. You're gonna need to set up your own Amazon account because in the app, it's gonna allow you to set up um, you know, your connection to your Echo Dot with being the internet connection as well as just setting things up like um, maybe you have Audible so you can listen to Audible books or maybe you have a Pandora account and all these other music devices or uh, different things that you can set up on it and you're going to have to do that all through your Amazon Alexa app. So if you if it doesn't prompt you into setup uh, for whatever reason it shouldn't be an issue but to manually set up you can go to um, the settings and then you can do set up a new device and go through it that way as well and then just click what type of device you have and it will pr prompt you to go through um, the respective setup for whatever device that you have. And also make sure that um, 
you have a Wi-Fi internet connection, you're not going to be directly connecting to this. Um, it's going to have to be over a Wi-Fi internet connection, which means no Ethernet cable to plug into this guy. Uh, and you're going to be setting up that Wi-Fi connection through your uh, phone device. So I'll turn that, that back on and once you get everything going, it has three callout names. You have to set which one that you want it. It'll initially be Alexa. You can also set it to have the callout name Amazon. Echo. What's the temperature in New York City? Right now in New York. It's 47 degrees with clear skies. Today's forecast has mostly sunny weather with a high of 65 degrees and a low of 47 degrees. All right, so you can ask it questions like that. You can also um, set the volume on this thing by saying something like echo, turn volume to five. And you can see it was a full white circle, which means it was at max volume of 10. I set it to five, so then it was only half circle. So you can set it anywhere from one to 10 in terms of the loudness of the speaker on the Echo Dot. Um, and that's pretty much it, guys, for the setup. I'm going to be making uh, a bunch of other videos just going through how to do certain uh, different things on the Echo Dot, how to set up different types of accounts on it, and what I really use it for, and just how to do some of the basic things. So if you're interested in getting more of these Echo Dot tutorial suggestion videos you can head on over to my channel and check out those videos and if you have any questions comments or concerns you can throw those down in the comment area so if you guys want more of this content in the future you can click that subscribe button and i thank you for stopping on in we'll see you in future videos bye